Multiple women not taking care of them, get rid of and adulterers and men sleeping with other men's wives. God will judge. God will what? God, God will judge. judge. Hey, the Bible speak about judgments, so those men will be judged. So, hey, the rappers who rapping all these things about sleeping with somebody else's wife and sleeping with uh, another man's woman, right? Hey, they're gonna be judged for that thing, man. Uh -huh. Right? So, we can't go according to what this world is trying to teach us, man. What right? makes a, what, so, how does a man make a woman his wife? And if we're talking like that, okay, how do what? What does a man have to do for a woman to become one with him gotcha. to make her his wife? Give me Exodus 22 and 16. Right, bring it up. The book of Exodus, chapter 22, verse 16. Uh -huh. And if a man entice a maid right. that is not betrothed right. and lie with her, and do what? And, and lie with her, her. Uh -huh. he shall surely endow her to be his wife. So, hey, these rappers who rap about uh, one night stands and sleeping with a woman and hitting and quitting, that's not of God. The Lord said, if you lie down with that woman, that is your wife. If you entice a maid, meaning you spit game to her, you tell her all these good things, sweet things in the ear, and she decides to lay down with you, that is your wife. There's no such thing, according to the Bible, as hit it and quit. Right? So would you say that uh, having one wife is a religious concept? That when, when, when people categorize having just one single wife as the righteous thing to do, is that is that a religious concept? That is a religious concept, right? Okay. First of all, that comes from the Greeks, right? Having one uh, one wife and different things of that nature, right? That comes from the Greeks and the Romans, right? Homosexual men, see that? So why did God tell us he who finds a wife? Why didn't it say women, wives, multiple? Right? Now, let me show you something according to the scripture. Now, he that find a wife, he find a good thing, right? Now, when it look, you look at uh, the 12 tribes of Israel, it was started off of multiple wives. So they had multiple wives. Uh, why didn't the Lord rebuke? Uh, why didn't the Lord rebuke Moses for having multiple wives? See that? He why had. Did the Lord Moses yeah. For having yeah. Wives. Correct. Okay. See that? Uh, Moses, he had multiple wives, right? You know, he made with that. He had concubines. He had actual wives and different things of that nature. Now, why didn't the Lord punish Moses? Or actually having multiple wives. Moses didn't make it into the promised land. But that's true. But why didn't he? You look at the ways of this world, right? And you look at our people. How many so called baby mamas do our people have on the average? Two, three, four, yeah. right? A lot. A lot. They have a lot of baby mamas, but they ain't taking care of none of them. This nation, they teach you that, hey, you can't have multiple wives. You can have multiple baby mamas, though. Why they ain't saying nothing about that? Because they are, if, if we go by the scripture, they are. If they laying down with these women, they are their wives, and they have multiple, four or five of them. So having multiple wives is it really the right thing to do? If I lay down with five women and get them pregnant, and I make them all my wife, and I have kids. By but it is different. See, in the scripture, the Lord is commanding you to make that your wife. When you, when you, uh, when well, you have I, that. If I, you, so the, the scripture saying, if I lay down with her, she's my wife. Right. So I've already made her my wife. 
So if I lay down with another one and another one and another one, now I have four or five with three or four kids. So we're all we So that that's part of the commandments, right? You have to keep the commandments. So here, listen, listen to this. So when you have certain wives, and we're not promoting this to you. We're not promoting the brother just go get more wives. No, no, stuff I'm like trying that. To, We're not promoting no, no, that. Just, just I, gotta make, I gotta make it I don't clear. Think you promote it. I gotta make it clear. But that is in the scripture. See that? Now, when, when it comes to multiple wives, you're supposed to take care of those wives, not hit them and quit them. But you would uh, you would have to take care of those wives. Give me that in um, Exodus. Book of Exodus, chapter 21, verse 10. Uh -huh. If he take him another wife, her food, her raiment, and her duty of marriage shall not. It said, this is a part of the law. If he take him another wife, her food, her raiment, and her duty of marriage, shall he not diminish. Now, this don't mean being a nigger in the world, right? So a nigger in the world, guess what he'll do? He'll lie. He'll be like, yeah, I ain't, I ain't, I'm, going to, I'm going to hang out with uh, so-and-so now, right? I'm going to hang out with Anthony, right? But then all alone, now, then that's another commandment that he broke. He lied. See that? He lied. You ain't supposed to lie. So now, if, if, if you have multiple wives, you're supposed to be a man and take care of your wives, right? As equal parts. They say her raiment and her duty of marriage shall he not diminish. That's right. You have, say you have one wife over here, she got a Mercedes Benz, she live in a huge mansion, you didn't pay for all that. But you have her living in a one bedroom apartment, right? No, the Lord said her raiment and her duty of marriage should you not diminish, right? So she's supposed to have equal parts as the other wife. So that's another thing when it when it comes to multiple wives, you actually have to be uh, financially stable, financially or uh, mentally stable to be able to handle those wives. Because yeah. guess what? Like they say, more money, more problems. Guess what? More wives, more problems. So we're not promoting uh, we're not promoting men to just go out and get multiple wives, but it is lawful according to the scripture. Now, is it lawful for women to have multiple husbands? No, it's not, because that would make a woman a whore, uh, a whore, right? Now, if a man is sleeping from woman to woman, hitting and acquitted, that would make him a whoremonger. But that's why I said in Hebrews, the whoremongers and adulterers, God would judge them, right? So the, the Lord ultimately going to judge uh, whoremongers, right? Men who just sleep from woman to woman to woman, that's wicked as hell and that should not be done, right? We shouldn't be out here making baby mamas out of our women and just leaving them off uh, with nothing. You know, 1 Samuel chapter 27, verse 3. Look at 1 Samuel chapter 27. And verse three. Hey sister, who are we? That's right. That's right. So what we got to do? That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Read what you got, King. First Samuel chapter twenty-seven and verse three. Uh huh. And David dwelt with Ashkenaz in Gath. Right. Y'all familiar with King David, right? Mm -hmm. King Priam. He and his men, every man with his household. Uh huh. Even David with. His two wives. With his what? With his, his two, two wives. wives. So he had two wives at that point, right? Now, the Lord didn't rebuke. He never rebuked David for having two wives, right? That wasn't the issue. The issue was King David, when he uh committed adult, when he had that man murdered, yep. to have somebody else's wife. That was sin. Him so, numbering the children of okay. Israel, that was sin. But okay. the Lord the Lord never rebuked him for having concubines and other wives. So adultery is, you saying uh, adultery is when you sleep with another man's wife. Correct. So, if you sleep with another woman that someone else has slept with. Right. Okay. Okay. Right. You um, understand that, brother? I understand Most that. Most I understand that. Now, we like, and I'm going to bring this other scripture out to show about the multiple wives as well. Now, bring out, does that mean you have to just go have multiple wives? Yeah, although the Lord say be fruitful and multiply, that don't mean you have to have multiple wives. Abraham had one wife, right? Mm -hmm. uh, give me some more, uh, people. Mm -hmm. yeah, one wife. I mean, Isaac? Isaac, Isaac had one wife. See, that? that's a beautiful thing. You know, Adam. Adam had one wife, you know, so that's a beautiful thing. Hey, hey. But that these things is deeper than even what the conversation that we're having now. So if, you, if that's what you're seeking, hey, you need to seek counsel for that thing. Right. But ultimately, it's not just uh, we're going to have multiple wives and stuff like that. No, you have to take care of those wives. You have to uh, take care of all those kids that you have. Right. You have to be an actual man to that family and not a Negro to that family. Right. The book of First Corinthians, the book of First Corinthians, chapter ten and verse twenty-three. Uh -huh. All things are lawful for me. So all things are lawful for us. That don't mean we can do everything under the sun, but the things that are lawful, the things that we can do, all law, all things are lawful. All things are lawful for me, uh -huh. but all things are not expedient. But all things are not expedient. 
See that? Mm-hmm. Now, brother, it, it's lawful for us to uh, to eat uh, chicken, right? But if I'm a brother, no, it's lawful for us to drink. I'll use that. Mm-hmm. It's lawful for us to drink. But it's not lawful for us to get drunk. So if I'm a brother that likes to drink, and I like to drink all the way till I get sloppy drunk to where I can't remember anything, drinking period might not be expedient for me. Although it is lawful, I know that I have a uh, a uh, temptation to get drunk. See that? So in th- therefore, I would not drink period. Not that it's unlawful, but it's not expedient for me. Now, multiple wives is lawful, but it is not expedient for all men, right? It's not expedient for all men, right? Right? Bring what bring, bring out what you got. This is the book of Second. Bring it up. Yes, sir. This is the book of Second Samuel, chapter 12, verse 8. And I gave thee thy master's house uh-huh. and thy master's wives into thy bosom. Right. And gave thee the house of Israel and of Judah. And if that had been a been too little, I would moreover have given thee unto thee such and such things. That's right. Right. So even even in the nation, when you look at the northern kingdom and southern kingdom, the Lord counts them as wives. Right. That's why the Lord said uh, the kingdom of heaven shall be likened unto ten virgins chasing the bridegroom. Give me Isaiah chapter four and verse one. Right. I'm going to show you something else, because in the last day, when you see all hell break loose and uh, different things of that nation, we get into the kingdom. We get into the wilderness. There's going to be a lot of men that are dead, right, that are gone. But it'll be a lot of women around, according to the scripture, right? It's in Isaiah chapter 4 and verse 1. The book of Isaiah chapter 4, verse 1. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man. See that? It said, in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man. He read it. Saying, we will eat our own bread. We will what? We will eat, eat our, our own bread. bread. Uh-huh. And wear our own apparel. Right. Only let us be called by thy name. Only let us be called by thy name. Seven women shall take hold of one man. Let us be called by your name. Let us give up, put your name upon us. Because what, what what happens when you get married? Whose name gets put upon who? Yeah, the man's the, name the, gets put upon Correct. The man's name gets put upon the woman, right? But ultimately, that's how it would be, right? So ultimately, it's, it's actually natural in our in our um, in our heritage to have multiple wives. But when you look at these other nations, all the other nations of the earth, they have like in Africa, you can have multiple wives, and all these other different nations in uh, the Arabs, they have multiple wives, right? That's an uh, that's an Eastern philosophy, right? Which actually comes from us, but the Westernized philosophy comes from these men right here, right? Well, you can only have uh, one wife, and a, a lot of those damn popes they teach they not they not to marry, right? When the when did the Lord command us not to marry? But guess what? Then not a pope sleeping with little boys, not a not a pope sleeping with uh, other men in the damn church. You see that? That's Christianity. And what? Homosexual. And homosexuals, right? They don't want you to have no more just one wife. That's right. Because they, they gay. That's right. So ultimately, according to the scriptures, yes, it's lawful to have multiple wives. But it's not, it's unlawful for us to be Negroes, right, to those wives. See that? Yeah, and it's unlawful for you to lie. So if you're going to be, if you're going to be a liar, right, and you're going to be a Negro just sleeping around, then you ought not to do that. That's right. See that? So in, unless you walk in that house and say, and be honest, you shouldn't even do that. Otherwise, you'll destroy your own soul. That's some right. good stuff, man. That's right. All praise that's to the most high. Hey, dude, did we answer your questions, King? Yeah, man. That's some good most stuff. Definitely. Yeah. Most definitely. That's some good stuff, man. Let me ask you this. Yeah, Who are stuff. we according to the Bible? Huh? Who I, are I, we? I believe, I believe we are here. That's right. That's right. I believe that.